Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Kiana from Hadiana, and today I'm doing 15 ways you can make money as a kid. So yeah, let's get. Oh, please like, subscribe, comment down below. Um, any more ideas you have? For so number one, um, you can become a YouTube star. I mean, that takes a lot of luck. Um, but like, it doesn't take much to start a YouTube channel. You just have to be consistent and like. Um, you can use your phone, like, whatever you need, and, like, it's not that hard, so, yeah, that's a good way if you become famous, I guess. Number two, you can do chores for your parents, so, like, um, I mean, some parents don't pay, they're just, like, you know, I don't know, they're required, but, like, sometimes parents pay, like, five dollars a week or something, so I guess that's okay money. Number three, you can do yard work for your neighbors, so, like, I mean, I guess this one isn't great because, like, they don't usually pay you that much and it's kind of hard to get it all done and all that stuff. But, um, I guess you could do it. I mean, if you're trying to fundraise and stuff, this is a really good idea. And you don't really, like, you don't set a set amount. You, like, say, oh, yeah, I'm fundraising for this. Like, I'm trying to help the homeless or whatever. And they usually give you more money than if you just say, oh, yeah, you have to pay me $10. They usually give you like 15 or 20 or something if you don't actually have a set amount. So, yeah. Um, number four is babysitting. So, you can um, like babysit your neighbors. Th this actually gets a lot of money. Like, if you keep up and like you have multiple people you babysit for and stuff like that, um, people will pay you a lot for babysitting their kids. Five, a kids camp. My friend uh, and some of my friends ran a kids camp and it actually made a lot of money. They, um, they like I don't know how to explain it they like organized they invited all the kids they babysit for and they like set it up and they like feed them and play games with them and they actually made quite a bit of money in just like one week so it's especially good in the summer in the summer because you can just go to like a local park or something for six pet sit so like if you have neighbors who have a lot of dogs and they're like kind of older and they can't really take care of the dogs anymore or something you can walk the dogs or um, this also kind of goes in with number six, um, you can also, like, uh, house watch, so, like, pet sit, house watch, you know, when your f friends or family or someone's gone, um, you know them and you can, uh, watch their house while they're gone and watch their, feed their animals and pets. Um, this one's one, uh, for older kids, like 16, 17, I mean, I guess if your neighbors trust you that much to watch their house um, while they're gone for a long time. I guess you have good neighbors, but yeah. Um, number seven, I mean eight, sorry, uh, a garage sale. So if you have a lot of clothes or other things that you want to sell, um, you can run your own garage sale. And I mean, this doesn't make that much money, but I mean, I guess you can do it. It's, it's just an easy thing to do. I mean, it's not easy, but like, um, it'll make you a little bit of money and you can also conjoin it with your family so like you know that's what we usually do when we have a lot of stuff we want to sell we run a garage sale and sometimes we um, invite friends and like they bring all their stuff it's just like a big garage sale you know um, that makes quite a bit of money um, sorry if I'm like really cold um, Number nine, uh, you can start your own business, which is really hard. Um, me and my friend, we actually ran this business called Phone Zone for a little while. We didn't do great. We made like 50 bucks. Um, but, I mean, I guess if you like really stay consistent and you actually work on it like really hard, um, you can make a great business as a kid. And it was like where we spray painted phone cases because you know how phone cases are kind of bland and I can't. Eh. You know, we like put like space planets and stuff on them. We design, put their name on it, all that stuff. So it's like custom phone case design place. I don't know. Um. So yeah. Um. You number ten. You can have a bake sale. This also falls in more of the category for fundraising money because not many people just buy food. You know, and you have to be in a good location. Um, you gotta have good treats and you gotta be able to get the word out there and so that one's a little harder I would recommend that one but like I guess if you feel like it you can um, 11 car wash uh, this is also another one that falls in the category of like fundraising and fundraising for money maybe I'll do a separate video on fundraising ideas because like I said we made like 200 bucks in one day doing a car wash because um, we told them 
like you don't we're not saying a set amount but people paid up to like twenty dollars just to get like their outside car washed and we were like oh thank you and you tell them the cause and then you say oh whatever you want to pay you know how you think the job went or how much you want to give to the homeless or whatever you know and they usually end up paying more than if you actually gave them a set amount so yeah um, number 12, resell items. So if you find stuff on sale or like, um, like, uh, some of my friend's parents do this. They like find good deals and then they resell it for full price online. And they actually make quite a bit of money, which is not bad. Like, um, I mean, it's kind of difficult because you have to like figure it all out and it's kind of hard for a kid, but I mean, I guess you can do it. So, number 13, photography. You have to be really skilled for this, but like my dad photographs weddings and stuff. He's also older and stuff, but I guess kids can be trusted with photography and um, that can make you a little bit of money, I guess. If if you really want a lot of money, that's probably not the one the best choice, but eh. um, painting. So you have to oh, number 14 is painting and you really, really have to be skilled for this because not many people buy um, terrible paintings, you know. And honestly, not many people are going to buy paintings. I don't know why I put this down, but like, um, I don't know. If you feel like it, if you're a really good artist, you're like, oh, I don't want to keep all these paintings, but um, I uh, want to make a little bit of money. I'll probably not make much, but you know. Um, number 15, so you can water plants for the elderly. So like, your grandparents, let's say they're your neighbors, or you can go to the elderly homes and you can um, water plants for them or whatever. Like a lot of housework for the older people who can't do it um, is some other good ways. Cause um, no offense, but like, oh wait, three, two, one, and yeah, that's I I don't know. That's not a great idea. Um, Babysitting is a really good one, and. Um, uh, house watching and all that stuff is pretty good. Um, pet sitting also makes a little bit of money. Kids camp, I really recommend that. That's a really good idea and it really makes a lot of money. And so yeah, that's the end of my 15 ideas. So please like, subscribe, comment, um, share this with your friends. And I hope this gave you some ideas for what you can do in the future. So see you guys next time. Bye.